Hello, Maple families. I'm Miss R. I'm one of the feelings teachers at Maple. I miss all of you. And for some of my kiddos, my K and first graders, you've we've read this before, um, but I think it's always one of my favorites. And it's called Breath Friends Forever. Um, so we're we're again we're listening to our body and we're gonna learn some ways to calm down. Um, so maybe you can teach your grown-ups and you can read this story with them. It's Breath Friends Forever. And it's by Lori Grossman and Angelina Manriquez and Miss Moses' fourth grade class. So the kids actually drew the pictures for the story, which is pretty cool. Oops. There were two friends who had the same birthday. Leo was often calm, and Nessa was often frustrated. On their birthday, Leo said to Nessa, I have a really cool present for you. A really cool birthday present for you. Leo, I have a surprise for you too, Nessa said. What is the cool present? Nessa, I have a present that will knock your socks off and blow your mind, Leo said. It will help you feel calm and satisfied. Before I tell you about it, Leo said, can you tell me why you were upset so much? That's easy, Leo, Nessa said. My parents always want me to do too many things. Also, I like to go to sleep late. They think I should go to bed early. Sometimes I want to watch TV or play with my tablet and they make me turn it off and clean my room. That makes me so mad. What makes you mad or sad? Does cleaning your room make you mad like Nessa? Oh, that happens to me too, Leo said. When I get mad, I do this. I put my thumb up and I take a deep breath in like when I smell cookies in the oven. Leo continued, then I put my thumb down and I let my breath out really slowly. When I do that three times, it makes me feel better. So watch Massar. Okay, we're gonna put it up. In through our nose, out through our mouth. So let's do that three times, you ready? Get your thumbs ready. Okay, one. Two. Last one, three. Nice job. Anyone feeling better? But wait, Nessa said, there's more. Yesterday they made me go to the doctor to get a shot. I cried so hard I couldn't breathe. I hate shots, they hurt so much. I don't like shots either. Do you? We have to be brave. Let's see what, I, what, they, what they do. And there's something else, Nessa said. I like to play with other kids, but when I go to the playground and they're all screaming, or if I go to a party, I feel really shy. I don't know what to do. Leo said, when you are mad, worried, or shy, do the shark fin. It will remind you to take a deep breath to calm down. Leo showed Nessa. You open your hand, and you put your thumb on your forehead. Then move it down past your eyes and close them. Keep moving it past them, your mouth, and make the sound shh as your hand goes down. When you do the shark fin, you'll remember to pay attention to your breath. So this one is one of the kids' favorites. So you start with your hand up here. Okay, you're gonna breathe in. Close your eyes and blow out. Ready, go again, shark fin. Get your shark fin on there, we're gonna do three, ready? So when you go by your eyes, you're closed. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. You ready? Okay, put that shark fin back up. Here's two. And one more. Up, shark fin's up. Okay, ready? Breathe in through your nose. Nice job. So Leo, when I get mad or sad, I need to do the shark fin and breathe in and out too, said Nessa. That's right, said Leo. Breathing in and out 
Your body and your brain like to do that. When you pay attention to breathing in and out, that's called mindfulness. Want to try it with me, Leo said. Think about how it feels when you're really mad, like when you have to stop playing and clean up. I feel mad, Nessa said, and my fists get tight. I feel like stomping my feet. Now, let me try the shark fin, Nessa said. She breathed in and out three times, in and out, in and out, in and out. Wow, Nessa said with excitement. My fists aren't tight anymore. I feel more calm. This is really cool. Mindfulness is your birthday present, Nessa, Leo said. Happy birthday. Thanks, Leo, Nessa said. I love it. It's like magic, Nessa said. I'll never forget this day when you taught me about mindfulness. You're right. It knocked my socks off. Kids, time for cake, yelled Aunt yelled Leo's aunt. After the kids sang happy birthday, Nessa and Leo blew out the candles on their cake. Wow, Leo, Nessa said. Do you realize what we just did to blow out the candles? We breathed in and then we breathed out. We just did mindfulness over our cake. That means you must have all done mindfulness over your cakes for your birthdays. I've been doing it for a lot of years. Nessa, you're right, Leo said. That is so cool. And guess what? Our breath will always be with us, no matter what. It's free, and we can't lose it. This makes me so happy, Nessa said. My breath is like a really good friend. Oh, yeah, Nessa said. I almost forgot my present for you. It's a necklace, Leo. You wear half and I wear half. It says best friends forever. Thanks, Nessa, said Leo. You know, I have an idea. Maybe we should call it breath friends forever. The end. Okay. So like we learned in the story, you are always breathing. So if you're having a really hard day, calming your body, is breathing is one way we can do that. And so we learned today um, the thumb, like smelling the cookies. We lid the shark fin where you go up here and you breathe in through your nose. And you can say shh. Sometimes I go shh. Okay, whatever you like better. So you got the shark fin and then the ones we learned the other day. Ready? We're going to smell the roses and blow out the candle. So we pick our rose, blow out the candle. Okay, so I'm going to review a few that I taught kindergarten and first graders that are kind of fun. Um, and you can always make up your own breathing. So one is called the snake, okay? So you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth, you're gonna hiss like a snake. So watch Massar try, ready? So let's try that three times where it's called the snake. It's a hissing breath, ready? I may have lost count on that one, but you understand how to do that one now. Um, the bear breath. Okay, you ready? We're gonna in through. We're gonna this one. We're gonna inhale through our nose. And we're gonna pause for three seconds, and breathe out through our mouth. Okay, so we're gonna put our hands up like a bear. We're gonna go. One, two, three. Okay, let's try three of those. So we're taking an inhale through our nose, getting in our bear pose, and then breathe, pausing, and then breathing out. So ready? There's one. And last one, three. Hold it. Good job. Um, the elephant breath. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and make our trunk. So we're gonna go, and then we're gonna go, and you can make the silly elephant noise if you want. You can go like an elephant. Okay, you ready? Two. Three, and we always try to do these exercises at least three times because it takes our bodies sometimes to calm down. It might take us at least three. We might have to do like 
10. Um, so, and that's okay. And the more you practice calming down by breathing, the better you'll get at it and you'll relax your body quicker. Um, another one kids like are the bunnies. So we are going to take three really quick sniffs through our nose. Okay, this is it's a little silly. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do three sniffs and then breathe out through our mouth. Ready? <laughs> That's the bunny. <laughs> Sounds silly. Let's try it again. Three sniffs through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. Ready? <laughs> All right, try it one more time. <laughs> nice job. Um, and then another favorite is called the bumblebee. And this one, you can sit crisscross applesauce, you can sit on your knees, you can stand, however you sit most comfortably. And you're going to breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth making a buzz sound. But you're gonna put your fingers in your ears so that you sound like a bee. Okay, so ready? Take a deep breath in. Buzz out. Bzzz. Did that feel funny in your, your face and your ears? Okay, right, try another one, ready? Bzzz. Right, one more. Bzzz. Nice job. Um, and then the last one that we're gonna learn today is the hot air balloon. So we're gonna breathe in through our nose and inflate the air balloon and then breathe out. And our air balloon goes up. Okay, can we do that again? Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out. Bring that air balloon up. All right, one more, ready? Breathe in through your nose. Bring the air balloon up. Nice job, Maple friends. Remember, that's one way that you can handle um, some really hard feelings. All right, have a great day.